Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone, where we're continuing our improv session. Uh, last we left off, a lot quite happened. There was a started begun uh, with the four adventurers in a new city to which they traveled to a decrepit pub, finding out, uh, helping out what they thought was a kind old man that was helping load equipment in the pub, which he turns out he just stole a crate of booze and ran. So, bastard. Uh, okay. Mia Gwen and who's the other one? It was Zanzian. Chased after him first, and then Niefland and Anos right behind them. Mia Gwyn threw a good old net on him, and then Zanzian followed up with a stab in the neck and a decapitation. Oh, yeah, you owe me a net. What I do. <laughs> Effectively I ruining the net. Cost a gold piece for a net. You old man was stuffed in a barrel, uh, and Anos took his head for a contract he had almost forgotten about. <laughs> The group then ventured off to find another tavern in which, uh, in doing so, they heard an explosion once they entered through it. And effectively, uh, Niflang got into a fight, a bar fight, in which he won in what he thought would might have been a losing battle. There were bets placed, and Mia Gwen won a nice sum of gold. Nice. Uh, after doing so, the players then left. Uh, and once they left the tavern, they heard another massive explosion, except this time they saw a massive green fireball up in the plagued area that they passed through previously on their way to the tavern. Upon entering it, they did some investigation to find out that there is a magical source of uh, emitting radiation that has uh, absolutely killed many of the folk in this sector. And we continue from there. Oh, oh, before I forget, Zanzian also got crushed by a wall. <laughs> and he's I currently injured. Amazing. But I saved his life. pulled out by Miagwin. Thanks a lot. You owe me a net. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At which point you, by the entrance, you see a, a, what it looks like to be an old tiefling male in his 40s. Uh, long braided black hair and horns that curl up into the back of his head. Black eyes. Uh, he's about six foot one, skinny build. He's wearing nothing but uh, multicolored robes. Almost looks like a cosmic sky. Cool. And he stands there at the doorway. Hail, ye fellow. <sighs> he just kind of looks around, distraught and confused. Uh, slightly worried as well. Who might you be? Ooh. I'm Gavin. Gavin Whittingham. I'm the wizard that's in charge of keeping the city afloat and running. Oh, shit, that's a big responsibility. It is, yeah. And I noticed that it seems to be getting out of hand now. Who might you four be? None of your business. My name's Miglin. This is Anzian. <laughs> this is Anos. And that's Nefan. Very good. I hope you know if you step out of line in my city, I will raise my hand and kill you in an instant. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Zanzian's still lying on the ground. <laughs> As he is looking down, he watches like he kind of oh. teases you with like this symbol of a red glow in his palm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna go I'll over to laugh. Zan <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Zanzian I'm gonna use lay on hands. Oh, thanks, wench. You have a pool. <laughs> 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 You have a pool of healing power that replenishes when you take a long rest. With that pool, you can restore a total number of hit points equal to five times your health level. So I can do ten hit points. What's five times five? Twenty-five? Yeah. How much did you lose? Twenty-one. Okay, I'm going to give you five. <laughs> nice. Thanks. You call me wench, bitch. <laughs> it's like, thanks. It's a cool uh, Gavin begins just to see, he seems to be going over the dead bodies and uh, areas of buildings and Casting uh, what seems to be uh, in investigating kind of spells on them to figure out what's going on. And you can all kind of faintly see like shadows of people and a fully intact building. It's very faint though, and it seems to be playing uh, in motion. Hey! I turn to the wizard and I say, Hey man, uh, Gavin, what's, uh, why is there disease everywhere? He disperses the, the magic and turns to you, Well, 
Something went wrong with the city's... Don't lie to me! <laughs> arcane focuses. See, on the first level here, around the center of the portal, there is an arcane focus, uh, about four of them, in which they keep the cities afloat. The same thing on the second level. Well, one of them overcharged, without my knowledge, and started seeping into the ground, um, dispersing across the floor. I think what happened is a massive amount of it grew over here in terms causing a chain reaction of explosions that blew this place apart and emitting a lot of magical radiation. Oh. My worry is, is that this emitting isn't stopping. I did a little bit of recon work around the rest of the areas and it seems that the emitting radiation is growing beneath the floors. There's no way for me to stop it. However, there is a way to protect my people against it. Have you ever heard of dragon's blood? I mean, like, I've heard of dragons. Like blood from a dragon? Blood from a dragon, yes. Do you know what its properties are, what it does? Can I do a... (laughs) What's the dragon alive? What kind of check would that be? That is one of them. (laughs) Yes, very good. Would that be an animal handling check? Uh... Yeah, roughly. No, not animal handling, because that's how you handle animal. Uh, history. History? Do a history I check on that. Did you think your history dealt with dragons? Not 20! Probably not. I got a nat 20. Uh, you know that dragon's blood, uh, because dragons can breathe certain elements, that their blood is what protects them from the radiation of the magical effects. So with dragon's blood, it protects against that. So like a red dragon, it's blood that why it's protected against fire? Exactly, dragon's blood is why. I repeat what you said, but I say it to him. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, roughly that's the image. So the dragon's blood, what happens is when uh, it flows through the dragon's body and they breathe fire or lightning or whatever the crazy beast wants to do. Um, I'm... S- white dragon, sorry. I'm, you I to say? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it protects him from the radiation effects that seep out from it. But I need some of that, see. If I can get some of that, I can study it, figure out what property in the blood prevents radiation from harming the organic parts of us, and then I can create perhaps a concoction to spread through the land. So what kind of dragon blood do you need? From any dragon, really. You just need to find a dragon. But the problem is they're hard to find. They went into hiding about 50 years back where the last one did. Can I roll to find a dragon? Oh, <laughs> uh, what's your background? Oh, book hero. Yeah, you could roll history to see if you heard any stories. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> you ho- you heard an old tale that the, the there was an ancient red dragon who was fighting with an ancient brass dragon. In an epic battle across the sky. And they made a baby dragon. And they made a baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they battled it across the skies, but inevitably the red dragon fell from the brass dragon's uh, ability to uh, not stop talking. Uh, it talked to the dragon so much that it confused him, hmm. uh, throwing off his sense of uh, tactical ability. <laughs> and thus the brass dragon then slayed the ancient red dragon. And well, that's fucked. <laughs> Uh, this is my story, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the ancient brass dragon then went to a forest not far from the city, uh, underneath the descent where the ancient red dragon had its hoard of gold and treasures, and the brass dragon is said to have rested there. We can't find an ancient red dragon, I'm only level five. Hire me and I'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> really? You, you, you uh, can't kill a dragon? Well, you don't have to kill the dragon, you just need to get its blood. What? Just a, a, a small amount of it will do. In doing so, I can then do what I need to okay. to save the people. But um, I will, if you want, I can pay. With the right, uh, with the right amount. 6,000 gold pieces. <laughs> 1,000 gold pieces. Give it. <laughs> it's an ancient dragon, man. This is an ancient dragon. 6,000 gold pieces. Or I'll sell for Not five. some mere human. Roll persuasion. With advantage, because he's saying stuff as well. Two people are trying to persuade this <laughs> wizard. I have a minus two. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you have advantage? You have advantage. Those are not <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Different <laughs> Different <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. 
Martina. Yeah, not too bad. I like you. Lady of that. <laughs> All right, tell you what, I will go up to no more than 3,000 gold pieces. I said we have a deal. Wonderful. Amazing. But there's only um, four of us. Who loses out on the money? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when I go back to my tower, I'll write up the contract. But for now, I need you to find this dragon. It's important you do it quickly because this seems to be spreading quite fast. The mist is not helping either. It's radiation from above and below. It's going everywhere. People are getting sick. There's only so much I can do, and there's only so much the herbalist can do, and it's getting it's getting out of hand. So find whatever lead you have. Get to get that blood, please. Okay. Uh, do you have any you? leads? Do I have any leads? I have a few people You're I can talk to. Talk to. Yeah. yeah. What? Where, where was it though? The it was the, it's pretty much right below the city, just off to the west. We gotta get down to the main level of the world. And then we gotta go to the forest and there's a dragon, apparently. What are you speaking of Red Hawk Forest? Sure. <laughs> Look, I can send you guys down there. Alright, huddle huddle together. Huddle. I don't have much time. Huddle. Still lying on oh the no! <laughs> Everybody gather around me. Neeman smells bad. <laughs> no, Neeman smells bad. <laughs> Huddle! <laughs> he then watches, he puts out his hand, and you feel his energy grasp around oh, your body, and you slide past the uh, right Byzantium. Oh, it smells so bad! <laughs> All right, now stay still, don't move, or, you know, body parts might get swapped. What? So, can you heal us too? <sighs> no. No! <laughs> <laughs> With no health points? What kind of trash is that? No <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> Disadvantage. Shit! Nice. I got nine. Let's do eleven. Fine, fine. You are fighting an ancient dragon. Alright, I'll give you the healing you need. Thank you. And so he delicious. just takes his hands and he waves them in an arch and he watches this like divine beam. Uh, like arched above his head, begins to form like four different beams and each one of them strike you quickly and you feel your hit points restore to full. Hell yeah. Cool. I was so full rejuvenated. Hell yeah. Well, then you overheal. Oh, what do I get? You overheal four. Nice. Get four do I get four too? If you're at full, then you. Oh. <clears throat> you seem pretty strong. How come you're not going to fight the dragon? If I'm not flow. here, how am I supposed to keep the people alive? How am well, I supposed to keep the city alive? Anyway. Okay. You know Fine. what I mean? Did I not explain that the arcane focuses are starting to explode everywhere? He's yeah. trying to do his best. Mm -hmm. I was just asking a question. Okay, enough talking. And he goes and he pulls out this <laughs> cube. And he watches, he slams one side of it. And you guys effectively just get... Pretty much congealed together and twirled in a vortex. Cool. I wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this one like finger stretches. <laughs> I wave goodbye. Your hand like goodbye. stretches out as well. And finally, you guys zap. And as soon as you guys zap, away, well, your vision goes dark. But as soon as it goes dark, it quickly comes back, and you are in this like hellish plane. The floor is brimstone. The skies are fiery clouds of smoke. Um, it's a desolate land, and across, way across from you, about 120 feet, you see uh, uh, another spiraling vortex, except this one is green. What? You didn't mention this part of the thing. Uh... I'll walk through the portal. Okay. Paladins aren't pussies. Away. <laughs> Do you all go through it? Yeah. All right, you all go through the portal. Uh, again, you all merge together and spiral. Uh, effectively, your vision goes dark, refades, and you are now uh, in a forest. Above, below the city. That's tricky. Okay. Uh, Dragon! <laughs> everyone roll a con two. Ten. Zero. Twenty-three. I got a zero. I got a minus two and I rolled a two. Eighteen. Eighteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Ten. Uh, effectively, you three are fine. You feel a little queasy mm -hmm. like you want to vomit, but you hold it back. You effectively vomit everywhere. <laughs> you can Oh my god! For about, like, a good minute, you're just throwing up. I can't feel my body. <laughs> I clap you on the shoulder as you're like heaving and your guts out. And it's a good thing you saved your healing. Now you can fix yourself. Well, I'm taking damage. I just don't feel hard. So hard. 
You guys are now in a forest surrounded by trees. The trees are quite tall and the branches don't start until about 15 feet up. Uh, the sun is at the noon point, so it shines upon all of you. Uh, there's a slight cool breeze that shakes the branches back and forth. You get the smell of pine and dirt. Uh, there's quite a bit of shrubbery and vegetation on the floor. Where do you like to... Which direction do you want to travel? Do we know... Dragon! <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> yeah, do we know, like, any approximate whereabouts of where that dragon horde was? Do we know be? where we are? Yeah. Yeah, you guys know point. that you're... Well, you three just know you're in the forest below the city because you would approach it before you went up. Uh, he knows that you're... Mewgli, you know that you're in Red Hawk Forest. Yeah. And the tale is that the dragon uh, lays under, but you don't know where the entrance cool. is. Well, if I know anything about forests and dragons, essentially, I, we should probably find a cave mouth and enter said cave and follow a tunnel down into its horde, and then we will find the dragon. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to want you to roll history for me. Okay. Zanzi. 23. You remember that before you traveled here at noon, it was almost night. Mm -hmm. And you remember that you had something to do at dawn that you have now missed. (laughs) Ah, fuck knuckles. (laughs) Oh no, those guys are going to steal you both. You don't know that. Now, you're right. Wait, no, you are. You can't see the... Yeah, you said we're going to steal my shit. Oh, yeah. 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 You can't see the shoreline from where you are right now. Fuck. Shit. (laughs) So, okay, so... It was like nighttime when we were in the city. It was about to approach nighttime, and then you talked to the wizard, and he shot you. Oh, my God. Here. But now what a it is dick. noon. <laughs> Fuck that. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what an asshole. Are you saying this all out loud? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm like, you said something about a ship? No. <laughs> <laughs> To find the entrance, I'll let everyone roll survival. Oh, fuck yeah. 15. I rolled a 27. 11. 5. Uh, you both don't really have a clue of where to begin, but you find that uh, Nifand and Miogwin have a perfect idea of where they're going or where an entrance might be. This is my brain. Being a rock part. gnome, you know all the rocky structures within the, the plane that you are on, and you know that there's quite a bit of rock underneath the ground. <laughs> All right. I'm a rock gnome. I know that there's rocks in here. That, that's exactly what Nifan would think. It's like he's got a decent intelligence, but his wisdom is a six. So <laughs> <laughs> follow me. I won't get us lost. And I walk into a tree. Uh, effectively, you walk into a tree, and the tree just fades. It wobbles and fades out of the way. Oh, fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> you see a chain reaction of trees in a specific path that begin to wobble and fade out of the way. I feel, oh, God, I feel like, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were going to do that. I thought it would be like, cool, walk on a tree joke. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, you guys travel through the path. And it takes you, it's quite long. It takes about 20 minutes of traveling um, until finally you see that uh, there's a medium-sized hill that goes about, I'd say, like 20-ish feet to the top of the curve. And that's just all that's around. The trees now are kind of spaced out farther away from this hill, about 10 feet away, all around. As we're walking, I will walk beside Zanzi, and I'll try and cheer him up and be like, Hey, if anything, maybe uh, if that guy didn't steal your ship, maybe you're all your other guys on the ship killed him. And your ship will still be there. Well, I'm not too worried. Why not? I thought you really liked that ship. No, no, I just don't think they stand a chance of taking it. Oh. I just wanted to kill some people. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you I hear a that. massive boom come from the direction of the ocean. Fuck. <laughs> and it's massive enough that it actually shakes the trees and there's a blast of gust of wind that hits all you guys. Oh man, blinds. they did... Whoa, what, the, whoa, what the fuck was that, you guys? <laughs> Is that another one of those boomers on the ship? Probably a hundred pounds of thermite. Hundred pounds? Who has a hundred pounds of thermite? So, the hill in front of you, you heard a massive boom go off. Uh, from the direction of the sea. From the direction of the sea. What do you four do? Is 
I'm gonna <laughs> climb a tree and see what I can see. I hope so we'll uh, see. athletics. I hope we'll know. Seventeen. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's because you got that bitch ass strength. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Reasonably enough, yeah, you kind of huddle up the first 15 feet of the tree until you reach the branches and you climb your way Hell to the yeah. top. You reach the tip, the tree kind of slants due to the weight, but you can effectively see the ocean and you see like a massive crater beside your ship um, that's just completely blackened and there's smoke rising from it. But there's no, sh- the ship's fine? Yeah, the ship's fine. It's still beach there. And you effectively see like little dots all around the blast. Oh, they're like they're fine. They got it. <laughs> they probably blew themselves up over there. Actually. <laughs> like in that Catherine was like celebrating with a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally going to be a captain. Oh, <laughs> what do you see, Zanzier? Matos, get down! <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a giant hole. There's a giant crater next to the next to my ship. Your ship? My ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's okay. Yeah. I told you. Bye bye. Okay. You need to be here. <laughs> Cracking of the top of the tree. That's fine. It weighs down. I'll catch you. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'll just, I'll just ride the tree down. It <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you in the tree. Uh, as you hold on, it curves down, down about halfway to the ground, which is about thirty feet. Nice. It just goes, <laughs> and it snaps at the halfway point, and it, but it doesn't fall super fast, mm-hmm. and it hits one of the other trees, in which slowing the fall of the top part, and you hit the floor fine. Hell yes. It's pretty awesome. That was amazing. We're lucky. All right, let's find the dragon. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's keep going. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, yeah, I'm leaving. It's way. this way. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and even, <laughs> I was like, with some confidence about it. Even the low end probably has no idea. Uh, I point in the right direction. I say, <laughs> no, it's actually that way. <laughs> That's good, what I said. Good try, no, <laughs> As he points slightly across the side of the hill, and he points at the hill. I've decided that that's how me and Gwenda's lay enhanced, only through high fives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll lead on then. Oh. Alright, me and Gwen follows on, and the rest of you Hi, follow oh. behind. Yeah. Hi, uh, you approach the hill. Um, the <laughs> As you approach the hill, what do you want to do? What do you try to do? I want to climb the hill. You want to climb down? No, the hill. Yeah, you want to climb up the hill. Okay. I mean, I, I well, climb what, down. what can I see? What can I see in the hill? So... It's just a grass hill. There's nothing okay. on it. Okay, I'm gonna. Do I see animals anywhere? Uh, as you get to the top, you do see like birds fluttering through the trees, and in the distance, you saw a deer that does, seems to be eating some shrubbery. Does anybody have a vial to put the blood in? Uh, huh? I don't think so, actually. A what? Like a vial. Oh, I've got bottles of liquor. Oh, okay, cool. So we've got so bottles. We are good. I think I with the Dungeoneer's pack, you get a water skin. I yeah. think I have a. Oh, yeah, I have a water skin that you get. Um, I'm gonna approach the deer and cast Speak with Animals. I'm gonna stab the hill. Okay. Uh, you walk up to the deer and you, you're gonna stab the hill. I'm gonna stab the hill. Oh, stab the hill. Alright, so we'll go for you first. You start waltzing down the hill. And yeah, you I approach the deer and I go, and I cast uh, Speak with Animals. You hear like this way. vibrant, soothing, like, octave sound echo through the forest. Edward's actually a good singer, yeah. And, uh,. Suddenly, you you feel a connection with the beast. Hi, what's your name? Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. What's what, what, what's the name? It's what you called. I don't know that I'm called. Okay, what are you a boy or a girl? This is I look under its legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look under its legs. It's a boy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Davy. Nice, nice. Deer eating shrubbery. Oh, hey, Davy, eating shrubbery. All right, now tell me where the dragon is, Davy. Dragon. And he watches the beast head pops up and looks no, around. No, no, dragon. No, 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 no. And begins running off. No, I, grab it. I grab it. I grab it. I grab it. I grab it. Strength. Strength or animal handling? Actually, animal handling. Yeah. It's Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow. Firmly, you grab the deer by the thighs. Uh, by the hip bone area, and you pull him back, and you're like, wait. Wow. I grab it by the head, I'm like, calm down, there's no fucking dragon here. I need you to help me find it, though. Oh, no, oh, no dragon, okay. Uh, shrubbery. He goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> keep eating the shrubbery there, little baby. Yeah, and I'll start, like, picking up shrubbery and, like, hand-beating him. 
And he accepts it. And yeah. Finally no, says, no, it's very royal. Tell me where the dragon is, Davy. Um, you know the sports better than anyone. And I'm like hyping him up. Yeah. You're the smartest dude in the land, baby. Does that give Davy a badge on his history too? Um, well. Tell me or I'll kill you! <laughs> no, I don't say that. <laughs> uh, the hill over there, uh, it's not there. See, that's just a viewpoint. You're supposed to look for a specific tree taller than the rest. Um, dragon is there, apparently. Is a tree taller than the rest of the trees? A tree taller than the rest of the trees, yes. So we gotta Shubbery. go to the top of the hill and look for a tree taller than all the others. Yes. Okay. Shrubbery. Hey, chill the fuck out, baby. <laughs> 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 Where are all the other animals? They're like the only deer I've seen. Oh, they're here somewhere. <laughs> well, they're dead. Because of the dragon. Dragon! <laughs> no, I slap him. You <laughs> <laughs> slap him and... Uh, There's no fucking dead dragon here! Stupid deer! Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll be like, thanks for all your help, and I'll give him some more shrubbery. And then I'll leave. Um, effectively I return to the party and I say, I talked to that deer over there and he said we have to look for a really tall tree and that's where the dragon is. Cool. And uh, all these trees look tall to me. Well, that's, we're going to look hard. We're going to go to the top of the hill and look. Sure. What right. are we going to say? Oh, Nathan was just going to climb up a tree. Oh, that okay. works too, actually. Yeah. Roll uh, athletics. He's I'll also, catch you. <laughs> uh, he's also got fast hands, so... Or, uh, no, second story work. So I gained the ability to climb faster than normal and it doesn't cost me extra movement speed, and yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, that's an athletics? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Uh, 12. 12? Um, you kind of struggle with your dense body to get up the first 15 feet because there's no branches to grab onto, but you just barely make it. And then you climb up the tree, but as you do, you get about three ways up until it starts to slant, and you figure you shouldn't go any higher. But it's a good What's point he, to see it. He goes higher. <laughs> I'll hold the base of the tree. Higher, yeah. I'll like, hug the base of the tree so it doesn't move. <laughs> okay. Um, that's me and Gwen's thought problems. What's your intelligence score? Uh, you actually, I'm not stupid. <laughs> Never mind, I don't do that. Each time you stupid. do it, it starts slanting more and more until you well, notice that tip is touching another yeah, tree. And you go all the way up to the top. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you go all the way up to the top, you get a brief moment, roll perception for me, and the tree begins to fall down. Nice. I'll catch you! Uh, 22. 22. Alright, this tree is about, like, 80 feet tall, um, and as it curves down, you hear a sound like, and it completely just falls off the base part of the tree, and it's just falling through the rest of them, mingling within the branches, and right before it's about to slam to the ground, it gets stopped and caught in the rest of the branches. And you got a one your perception? Uh, 22. 22. Right before it collapsed down, you saw a tree to the north that was sticking out about 15 to 20 feet higher than the rest. Okay, cool. Ah, don't fall! <laughs> I'll catch you! By now, you're stuck like 15 feet up right now. He just drops. Um... I'm not going to do any damage for that. Okay. I'll just say you drop and you hit the ground. There's a satisfying thud when you do so. Do you want me to roll anything for, like, if I stick landing or anything? Actually, yeah, you can go ahead and roll. Uh, you just falling roll. Deck save. Eight. No, you kind of just face plan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fall off and you go feet first, but the wind catches your legs and you go... <laughs> full body onto the ground. That was awesome! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that cookie dude from Shrek with his boys. You're a monster! Oh, gingerbread man. Yeah. Yeah. So you now know that the direction is north. Not the okay. gum truck, I just but... tell you guys that we're heading north. Okay! <laughs> you all begin to travel north through the woods, and it's quite nice and peaceful and calm. It's, it's really relaxing, really. And uh, eventually you find the tree that's taller than the rest. And you notice that the base of it is not even there. There's only the branches that are floating above the ground. And then, but there's no base. And right below it, you see a, what seems to be like an iron sewer grate. I rip it open. Roll strength. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 21. 21. Easily, you just take it and, go, <laughs> and you like, whip it up in the air. And it does a nice satisfying spin for it. She stands behind you. We go down the hole! 
That all go down. Ladies first. That's me. That all go down. Okay. Yeah, you hop down the hole. And it's like ten feet down, but uh, it doesn't injure you really at all. It kind of strains your thighs a little bit. But oh, I love the super bird. Enough. <laughs> uh, in doing so, you know, you're just welcome to the space is tight, but you can fit more people in here. But it's just a hole. There's no way to go right now. Oh. I'm going down there. <laughs> There's nothing down here. Can cool. I do an investigation check? Yeah. I'll start dragging the sewer grade back. That's 16. <laughs> 16? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, you As you take a step to go touch the wall, you hear a satisfying crack beneath your feet, and you can feel kind of the ground just loosen a little bit. Oh, I am starting to freak out now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you can hear the crack slowly beginning to continue. Finally, the cave or the floor beneath you just collapses and you fall down with it, but you quickly slam onto kind of the wall and it creates a slide the way down. Oh! Although you feel yourself getting burnt on your back and your legs as you're just gliding against rock. And then finally you fall and about five foot drop, you land on the rocky ground. And it's just dark in here. They wouldn't be able to hear me now anyway, would they? Hello! <laughs> you hear an echo of a hello. I go like... <laughs> you hear that echo back up through the hole. It'll be fine. will just drop down the hole. Uh, you go cannonball! <laughs> and you just hull down the ball, uh, the hole. And you catch like a rolling effect when you do. <laughs> you kind of roll sideways in ball form all the way down the hill, and you hear the the rocky clangs and clumps and like. <laughs> I just stand at the side and I wait for it to come out. Finally, um, you catch massive amounts of speed and you're like, <laughs> Can I try and catch him as he comes out? Yeah, you call Dex. Okay. Oh, fuck. Dex sucks. <laughs> Minus two. No, seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what happens is he rolls and as he shoots out of the hole, it's like a delayed reaction. He goes flying and you hear sounds like bang and like rock crumbling down. And you're like, Huh. Did you reach your hand out right afterwards? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh no, I didn't catch him. <laughs> and I mean, you have dark vision, right? Yes, you know. I'm, I have, I'm a seal, but I have dark vision. Yeah, so. No, I have dark vision. Too. I don't think I do. What's, what what are, are you? What's your half line? Half line? No. No, no don't. you don't, Dan. Uh, so, yeah. Would the alcohol in my backpack come broken? Or the uh, liquor bottles? Probably. Went pulling down a fucking stone yeah. slide and then smash into a wall. Yeah. You feel that one bottle broke. Okay. But the other ones are well, still good. Too. I walk over and I go, That was awesome, high five! And I high five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are open to kind of like a. And then to get a big drink of my liquor. <laughs> and, th- and then another. Then another. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, okay slow glide. down! We have a driver. <laughs> and swish of the glass, you can hear it kind of echo through your area. You're in about a five foot by five foot stonework cube. Um, the walls are more cobblestone, laid brick, and the floor is just complete rock. Uh, the floor, uh, the roof above you is slightly arched, but it's jagged rock as well. Uh, right across from the hole that you came shooting out of was a door you landed on, a stone door, and you just kind of crack some of the stone off of it. You two, do you two go down the hole? So, seeing that do. he had such fun coming down the hole, I'm going to grab the shield off my back and use it as a... Is uh, it like a sled? Yeah, as a sled, as I jump down into the hole. Okay. Um, we, we probably should have put a robot at the top. I was thinking about that too, yeah. but I'm like, what do you, nah. like, That's what I um, rolled for before. I see if you even would have thought of using a shield. Uh, uh, shield or I can't. Uh, if you're going to try and walk down, I'll say roll... Uh, you gotta roll. For athletics. Um, so yeah, as you go, you take your shield and you jump down, having it below you. You effectively go to a nice slide glide through the tunnel and then you fall out, land on the floor, and you glide and stop right before the doorway. Nice. But you can't see anything because it's pitch black. Yeah. So <sighs> as soon as I stop, I'll go through my pack, grab my torch, light it. Right. <laughs> and then you're welcome to the room. You just jump down and try to walk down. Did you roll? We got a 13. 13. Um, as you go down, you kind of plant your arms and your legs, arms on the top of the hole, legs on the bottom. You try and shimmy yourself downwards. You get about halfway until your feet slip out under you and you slide the rest, but you 
you didn't catch enough speed to quite shoot out, so Sweet. you slid right at the end. Just what I meant to do. And he kind of just hopped off. Nice. Graceful. Is he dead? No, I'm not dead. <laughs> no one's dead. Everyone's fine. <laughs> they went gone. down in some interesting ways, but everyone's fine. <clears throat> Immediately as you guys land, and from all the little rubble, you finally hear a... <sighs> from the other side of the door. And that is where we'll leave off on this session at <laughs> 20.